When booking a journal entry with Index 3, the user starts by clicking on the New button in the upper left-hand corner. The financial site that the journal is applicable to is defined. From there, the document type for um, general adjustments, the GNAJ document type can be referenced. The numbers where the source generated or the system generated uh, journal identification numbers captured. The date of the posting can be captured in the date field, which will govern the accounting period that the results will show up in. The journal code of GenAJ can also be referenced for general adjustments. The category field is going to be used to uh, designate the type of journal. For um, your standard journal entries, it's going to be the actual uh, category. For um, you also see in the context of recurring journal entries, there's also a template setting in there that can be utilized. The status field is going to uh, have the values of temporary or final. Um, generally speaking, all journals are initially generated with a temporary status. As part of the month end closing routines, a process will be run to finalize all journals, which will, in essence, uh, lock the journals in place and prohibit um, any changes to them. The source document field will be populated um, for many of your system generated journal entries. The source document field will capture information such as shipment identification number, work order number, purchase receipt number, and so forth. The rate type um, would be used in the context if the journal is being booked in a foreign denomination, if the uh, journal is being booked in the source uh, currency, um, that rate really isn't at play. The reversing field can be used uh, in the context of setting up journals to be reversed, uh, which we'll see later. The description by default um, is going to govern what uh, shows up on our GL detail lines for this transaction. Okay. Next in the line item section, the general ledger accounts will be specified that will be charged. As you can see, the description line carries what's defined here in the header. Then there's also um, the ability to specify the analytical dimensions associated um, with the account. So for instance, there might be a department analytical dimension that will be charged. Once all the journal lines are entered, um, one needs to ensure that the total of the credits equal the total of the debits for the transaction. Then the credit, uh, then the create button can be hit, and the system will assign you a journal identification number. If one has need to print out a uh, journal document, one can go up under the file, print to record menu, and in here you'll have an accounting entries report that can be printed, which will show you. Um, a summary of the journal entry.